As a sex worker, I'm always being asked to, you know, provide someone the space to have their fantasies met. But I'm grateful for this space because I was finally asked to have my own fantasies met. It's really delicious to get what you want sometimes. We are in the big island of Hawaii. This retreat, it's an opportunity to be in spiritual practice. You know, we have workshops every morning with Brad Amberhart, who you know, allows us to access these beautiful themes of being present, of letting go, of connecting and building energy. From those beautiful seeds that were planted in our spirit, we get to indulge in the creative process of dreaming up fantasies and then they create it for us in this beautiful fucking place. I'm so proud to be a part of this. So I've never been filmed before. The process of getting here, I was dealing with, oh shit, should I cut my hair? Should I be more masked? <laughs> should I really have the high and tight? Should I kill myself at the gym? And I was like, no, 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 no. You want to be you, even if you don't know who that is yet. I feel like I'm in a time of transformation right now and I want some guidance of who I'm to become. Brad has this process of picking a pebble from a bag that has a little bit of a, a theme or a saying or whatnot. <laughs> Dirty fucker. That's who you're becoming. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a lot of me pushing away my more picky desires, I guess. But um, it, it's, it's just an ins insatiable craving for something. It's looking at every simple things like smells or, or like a cock and just like wanting it, just wanting it. It's telling me to let go a little bit and to be a dirty fucker. And I was able to close my eyes and go into the hottest fantasy. I started smelling things. I started envisioning um, the space and the lovers that I was with. I was hearing the words that I wanted to hear. And now we're gonna film it. We're gonna film this fantasy that I had. Hey guys, Davey Wavy here, creator of Himmerose.tv. If you're enjoying this video, you're going to love Himmerose.tv. And we are in the midst of our flash sale. We are opening up 200 spots on a first come, first serve basis to get one year of Himmerose.tv 20% off plus six months for free. So it's 18 months of access and it's first come first serve at himrose.tv forward slash flash sale. You'll get all these videos, instant access, and you can join the community of like-minded men. I hope to see you there at himrose.tv forward slash flash sale. I'm just nervous, I'm just so nervous. First time jitters. Hoping I perform well. Let's do it. of creation, the spark of creation. I mean, that's what sex is. That's what sex is, and that's the energy that we were all pulling from this week. I think I needed that at the beginning of this week. Just remind myself what it feels like to let go, to really let go. I knew I was gay pretty early. And I grew up in a pretty Christian, conservative upbringing. There was a lot of praying to be straight. Thank God my prayers weren't answered. It was right before my birthday. I told my mom, I'm gay and I have a boyfriend. And, you know, she said the lines that every gay boy wants to hear. I love you no matter what, you're still my son. But then in the same breath, she was like, I never want you to see that boy again. And then she kind of didn't talk to me for like a month. She didn't even say happy birthday to me that year.
It's my birthday this week. One of the things that I've been dealing with, I think for a long time, is not feeling enough. I think with any sex worker, understanding that your worth lies beyond your presentation. Your worth lies beyond what people project onto you. That's been a big journey for me, to realize that I'm more than just an Asian submissive boy, which I could play well. <laughs> but I don't want to have to, to experience love and desire. <sighs> Breathing into my sexiness and believing it. Yeah, I think I'm there. I think I'm getting there. Yeah. <laughs> Just being in this space, in this beautiful project, in this beautiful experience during this time of my life, it's helping to usher in what I care about and believe in and who I want to become. It's the best birthday gift that I could have ever asked for. I am Romeo. I'm a dreamer. I'm an artist. I love to dance and I love to sing. I'm a Scorpio. I'm a good kisser. I'm a burner, radical fairy, kink boy. I'm a sex worker who loves his body. I could be so poetic about all of this. <laughs> I'm me and I'm here and I'm grateful. My heart wants to beat like the wings of birds that fly from the lake to the trees. My heart wants to sigh like the chime that flies from a church on a breeze. To laugh like a brook as it trips and falls over stones on its way. To sing through the night like a lark who is learning to pray.